It's the first time in Super League heartland for Paris, who arrive at Wilderspool to face an informed Warrington side. After their catastrophic end to the centenary season, Warrington have lost just once so far. Mind you, so have Paris. So we're in for a top-of-the-table thriller. Well, this is a game that might revive memories of the French tour of Great Britain in 1988. The French lost to Cumbria and Halifax, but they won here at Wilderspool that year by 29 points to 6. Here's the Warrington team, Lee Penny at fullback, the three-quarters, Forster, Coe Love, Rudd and Hanari, Harris and Shelford at the half. The forwards, Hilton, Hoff and Chambers, not Cullen the captain and Sculthorpe. And on the bench, it's Jones, Maffey, Sumner and Bennett. The coach is John Dorohy. Now the Paris team, at fullback, it's Baghdad Yaha, Bomati, Chamorin, Luches and Pastor Cortin, Devecchi and Ontat. Up front, it's Casala, Torre, Udwakamanu, Adams, Cabastani, and Pesh. And on the bench, Mark Lane, Via Bloomfield, Arno Savello, and Eric Vergnol. The coach is Michel Mazaret. Match referee today is 39-year-old Steve Presley, who's about to get this match underway. And suitably enough, for Super League, the sun has come out as Pierre Chamoran gets this game underway. First bounce, Kelly Shelford underneath it, gives it to his fullback, Lee Penny. Lee Penny broke the first tackle, but couldn't get away from the next two. Pascal Bomati was in there, and so too was Divecci, very quickly indeed. Mark Hilton gets to his feet, plays the ball. It's with Shelford, and here's Yestin Harris. The French know all about Yestin Harris, having played against them in the World Cup for Wales. Now Gary Chambers, good defensive stint though from Paris Saint-Germain and one of their players is down and injured. It's uh, Patrick Torre, the hooker, who gets back up to his feet as Hilton takes that tackle. Huff drops the ball back to Harris, skips away from Onta and the kick downfield is well picked up by Bomati. Good chase though by the Warrington defenders, Henari in there quickly and that's Yaha, full back, wearing number six. Not the best kick, though, from Justin Harris. He'll be not so pleased with that effort. Even though the chase was pretty good by Warrington. He should have got a little bit more distance. And Warrington will be playing with quite a brisk wind behind them. There's the ponytailed figure of Udwakamanu. Former professional boxer in the United States, by the way, he is. Pierre Chamoran with the kick over the top. Forster is content to let it bounce twice. Chamoran, though, following up, and he does well to bring the Warrington winger down. Worked well there to the Paris skipper. You can see there how the Paris defence moving up as one line. But they've got to go low on this guy. Lee Penny is so strong. Great upper body strength. Hoff, the dummy half, and that's Chambers. He lost his way a little bit there to Chambers, and it allowed uh, Torre to come in and clatter him to the floor. Shelford gets the pass away to Sculthorpe. That's a lovely break. He ducked under the challenge. Ton of support here for Warrington. Great run coming in from Toa Koe Love. And it's going to be a great try. Oh, super try for Warrington. Perfect start. And Michel Mazaret, the French coach, looks on and wonders where it all went wrong. Koe Love, fourth Super League try. And not much better than that. He's all class. Koilov really has got some speed, but look at that, they went far too high, and Sculthorpe ducked underneath. But a nice little step there. There was no one at home. The fullback, Baghdad Yaha, was nowhere to be seen. Well, the first time we saw Toa Koilov, it was all mud and rain, but it's a dry track out there. A beautiful pass on the inside. They've been singing the praises at Warrington of this guy. They said, he can motor, he's got the skill, he's got the class, he's also got the four. Great try from Toa Koe Love, two against Workington and another against Wigan, and his fourth of the Super League today. 19 Super League goals then for Yestin Harris. He scored in every one of the last 10 matches for Warrington, and he scored now in every one of the last 11. So Harris with the extra two, Coe Love with the try, Warrington 6-0 up.
So Yestin Harris gets us underway again. But that's not the best kickoff from the uh, Warrington youngster. It sails out on the fall. That's a penalty on the centre spot then to the Paris Saint-Germain team. But far too much beef behind this. Well, his first kick in open play was too shallow. And on that occasion, far too long. Off form with his kicking at the moment. Good tackling coming in from Sculpthorpe and Chambers. And that's Cavastani, big, tall, second row forward. In the last French test, by the way, or the last French test team that actually beat Great Britain way back in 1990, Cabastani. So too was Patrick Onta. And here he is, and his little kick for the corner. That's inviting. Oh, that's a great try. And that's Patrick Cortine. Super try. And what about the invention from Patrick Onta? The kick over the top was perfect, and Patrick Cortine came storming in. Tremendous skills by the little halfback, Patrick Ontar. Long ball out wide, he could see that the sliding defence was shallow. No one at home, and the winger, Reggie Pastre Cortine, gets the touchdown. He really is a brainy player. The man who traded his skills in this country with Holland Leeds, and look at that. That is a well taken try. Pastre Cortine, Paris, back in the game. Very much so. That's his second try in as many matches. The man who uh, had 19 appearances with Batley over two seasons in 1993 and 95. So an early opportunity here then for Patrick Torre to get Paris Saint-Germain level on six points all. Left-footed kicker. He's got chances that just sails in front of the posts. Two touch judges had a glance at each other then and decided the ball hadn't gone across the top of the crossbar. And John Dorohy, the Warrington coach, knows that his team could be in a battle. Now, Gary Chambers, all on his own. The support arrives from Rudd. Good tackling by Luches. Hoff, they play it quickly. Harris, scything run from Harris. He looks out wide. They've got men queuing up. This is Sculpthorpe, this is Koei Love, Koei Love try! Oh, breathtaking from Koei Love. He's in the mood today, is the young Kiwi. Great try, his second of the match, his fifth in the Super League, and what a talent, what a prospect. Tremendous work by the Warrington pack there, and Yiston Harris, you could see, had acres of room. Be able to spin out wide, you could see that the winger, Pastre Cortine, had gone in far too early. But look at the strength of this guy. Well, the Warrington fans said that this was going to be one of the best players in the world eventually. And on today's performance, Koe Love really is hitting the high spot. Lovely pass on the inside. See how he handled the ball, he could fend with the left, reaches out for another try. Great try, very highly rated by John Dorohy, the Warrington coach. He made a brief debut as a blood bin substitute for Chris Rudd at Leeds. But my word, he is certainly showing his style here. Justin Harris, successful earlier, but this way out on the uh, far touchline. Difficult kick, he's almost in the crowd, as you can see. Gives it a chance, but it just went in front of the posts. But Warrington have a 10-4 lead here at Wilderspool. Picked it up well, and they're attacking down this right-hand side again, Warrington. Kasala got hold of Harris, but couldn't complete the tackle. Oh, and that's an awful ball from Cullen. Luches has picked it up. Well, it looked like Luches was away then. The gap appeared, and then he took a step, and it closed in on him. But it wasn't the best pass. Deary me, that is a gamble. Heavy traffic. There was nothing that John Hoff could do about that. Onta taking over from Divecchi. And Onta looking round then as he took the tackle from Sculthorpe. No one in support. Torre now gives it to Darren Adams. Right up the middle, Adams. Taking on the uh, second rower, Paul Cullen. 
and it's a penalty to Paris because Cullen would not release the man once he had tackled him. Good run from the big second rower, Darren Adams. But you can see there that Cullen holding the shirt, pulling him down. So Ture with the chance to close the gap from bang in front. Left footed, makes no mistakes. Warrington 10-6 against Paris Saint-Germain. Chambers turns the ball back inside to Hilton, who gets the pass away to Hoff. Good tackling, though, by this French defence. Shelford. Harris. The runner is Rudd. Tried to run over the top of Diveshi. Could have been penalised then, the Frenchman, but Warrington in possession with Shelford. Trying to spin away from the would-be tacklers. Gets Warrington to within three metres of the line. Harris now. Over the top it goes to Coe Love, and that's a knock-on. Well, brilliant from Coe Love earlier. Bit of a scrap in the middle of the field. Came on here, just as he went out a shot. Little Patrick on tar. Fired a little customer. Harris didn't like it. Welshman against the little Frenchman. <laughs> and on tar looked at Penny and said, don't you get involved. In French, of course. This is the mistake from Coe Love. And you, on the left-hand side was a fight. And it was Ontar really getting stuck into Yistin Harris. And I think we'll probably find that this will be a penalty to Warrington. It is a penalty to Warrington. It was a late challenge by Ontar and a swinging arm over the top as well. So Harris, who was fouled by Ontar with the opportunity to make the Frenchman pay, courtesy of two points. And Yestin Harris doesn't miss from there. 12-6. Now then, Yaha. Nice work on the blind side there. Quick play the ball. You can see that Warrington was slow to get into position. Onta to Adams, spills the ball again. They're losing the plot in vital areas, Paris. It was good play, though, by the centre, Koei Love. He put the shoulder right in underneath the ball. One-on-one, -on -one, you're allowed to do that. And I get the feeling that Pierre Chamarin and this uh, Paris Saint-Germain team are getting a little frustrated. Getting a bit niggly out there. Elbows knees they just seem to be straying into certain parts of the anatomy via bloomfield has come on for paris meanwhile they have to defend this run from mark jones the big welshman taking two with him a few more meters Now Huff is in a dummy half again, who finds Sculthorpe. Sculthorpe showed a little dummy, looks around for support. It's there, eventually, from Penny. Penny back to Shelford. Shelford taking them on, up the middle on his own. They're still going far too high. They're missing tackles, and they're bouncing off the one. Harris. And able to get the ball away because the tackle not completed. Coe Love gets it to Sculthorpe. Sculthorpe is cleaned out by Pesh, the loose forward, and he's hurt Jacques Pesh. Hoff taking the chance to go on his own, and he gets the try. He gets the ball down. Steve Presley was perfectly positioned to see exactly what was happening there. And the first four-pointer for John Hoff in Super League. He caught one for his corner as well, did a little hook out. It was quick thinking, quick play the ball. But they're keeping this ball alive, and that's the problem with the... French defence. Now Paris there, you could see the loose forward Pesh, this is where he gets injured. And good thinking there, only one marker. You can see Ontar gave him a little crack across the jaw. No marker there. That is quick thinking. Went pretty high did Ontar. Good positioning by Steve Presley, the referee. He saw that. Quick thinking though. A well taken try. You can see Pesh 
it down in the background. And on the line is good enough, and John Huff got it on the line. So Yestin Harris now with another attempt. This should be easy for Harris, and so it is. Warrington increased their lead. 18-6 now. Darren Adams, looks like he's got a little uh, scarf on, but I think it's uh, part of the collar of his shirt that's been ripped off. Devecchi to Onta, and Devecchi takes over again, trying to get round Rudd, and he's having a right old go at Bloomfield, who was right behind him. Bloomfield from dummy half, an impact player, this fellow, no doubt about it. But he was right, though, the standoff, Devecchi, he was looking for support, there was nobody there. Onta, short ball. And they're watching Pierre Chamarin like a hawk, this Warrington defence. Now Pesh, little kick over the top. He gets the ball back, and I think that's going to be play on. It's play on, and it could be a try. It could not be a try. Held up. Because he was held up on his back over the line. Good play by Coe Love then. It looks as though Pastre Cortine was in in the corner. I think they've blown a chance here. Oh, they have. But what great defence. He did well there, Coe Love. Lovely ball to Kelly Shelford. He's got Harris in support, and he takes over this attack. And they close the door, the French. Hoff at dummy half. Cullen. Penny stands in the tackle. Sumner. Does well, Sumner. Can't get away from Casala. Jones, surprisingly, finds himself in at dummy half and does well, gets the ball back. Kelly Shelford picks up the pieces. Coe Love, another man here, thinking of a hat-trick. Shelford, though, picks up the pass. Well, Coe Love might well not have a hat-trick, but he has scored two and created one. Kelly Shelford with the try. He's all quality. Good run from the substitute, Mark Jones. Kept the ball alive there. One of the best pass. Shelford in ball early on, but look at the step there. He really is a classy player, Coe Love. Good support play. We know he's going to make it the big halfback, Kelly Shelford. He started it. Comes up with a four and finishes it. Kelly Shelford's try then. Halfback against Halifax. Sub in the first three. His last try coming in a cup tie against Leeds in February. Yestin Harris, three from four, and the majority of kicks have been from this area of the field. And he makes no mistake from there. They're stretching away now, 24 points to six. And Paris Saint-Germain need inspiration from somewhere. On the halfway line. Tackled by Onta. Cullen the dummy half. Phil Sumner now. Ball bounced out and it was stolen in the tackle and it was a three-man tackle. And so that is a penalty to Warrington. Pastre Cortin having a bit of a swing there. Punching the ball clear. See the arm underneath. Get away. Let's take it out. So as a result of that uh, penalty award, Yestin Harris with another opportunity for a kick at goal. Four from five. He began today with 19 goals in Super League. And a drop goal and a try. His personal tally doesn't increase any because of that. And Yaha had to pick that ball up because everyone else was in an offside position ahead of him. It's the last action of the first half. Warrington well in control. They started brilliantly. Patrick Cortine equalised, but Harris with the boot. And Coe Love particularly catching the eye. 24 points to six. Coe, Coe Love, mark the name down. This is the star of the future, the former junior Kiwi. Two tries from him, 24-6, Warrington. So Warrington in command of this match at half-time, 24-6 up. 
three wins from their first four matches, only beaten by Wigan. Parish though, just one defeat in four. They've probably exceeded expectations both on and off the field, but if they could come back here today and win, but well, what a boost that would be to the game again in Paris. Mind you, Steve-O, they've got a lot of hard work to do if they're to get back in this match. Well, they would have got a real roasting from their coach, Michel Mazaret. They were all at sea, especially with their kicking game. And the responsibility has to lie on the shoulders of Patrick Ontar to take control of that now. And they've Yaha got to go with the run there. <laughs> and they've also got to work a little bit harder in defence with the forwards. There is one of the big forwards, Darren Adams, who he gets the ball away on one knee and it bounces off a Warrington head and they pick up the pieces. That was Sculthorpe in quickly. Came off Paul Cullen. Here's Lee Penny. The tackle's completed. Sculthorpe in quickly at dummy half and makes the ground from the acting halfback position. Shelford to Rudd. He gets through. One tackle, but loses it then against Luches, and Ontar picks up the pieces. Slipped at a vital time there. He's got to be offside. Yeah, Hanari rushing out from the marker position. Got to stand square at the play of the ball, and you see there, Hanari was a yard to one side. Former Carlisle winger, Richard Hanari penalised, so Paris back in possession. And they need to turn some of this possession into points. They might be past the 14. Second for him. Broke through the defence with real ease and scored four points. Just what they wanted, start of the second half. He really has been running hot as a winger, past 14. And good work from the skipper, skipper Pierre Chamaran. Just held the ball up for the inside pass, but good positioning by the winger. Pastre 14, we mentioned in the first half, it had been a real battle royal between the French winger and Mark Forster. And look at that position, he came back on the inside at the right moment. Well played. Two for Pastre 14. It could so easily have been four tries for Pastre 14, but he'd be happy enough with two. Patrick Torre then. This is kickable, left-footed. And he's kicked it. He's got the extra two. Just the start Paris wanted at the beginning of the second 40 minutes. 24-12. Hilton, just on the field, takes the tackle from Casala. Bennett then to Foster. Foster trying to bully his way through. But Patrick Torre standing up to the challenge well. Now Shelford. Short ball to Penny. Well, <laughs> Warrington can't afford to go to sleep here, even though they hold a 12-point lead. That was a quite an impressive try by the Paris side. That will have built their confidence. Oh, that went backwards. Me. It went backwards, surely. Baghdad Yaha will agree with you, Steve-O, but Steve Presley won't. Well, that went backwards. Chris Rudd. Straight up the middle, Rudd. Loses it, but was it stolen? Looks yep. at the re touch judge referee, and it's a penalty. Baghdad Yaha is in the wars with this ref well, at the moment. He's looking confused now, but he shouldn't be on this occasion. Quite clearly, he reefed that ball away. You can only do that man on man, one on one. So Chris Rudd has taken over the goal kicking responsibilities because Yestin Harris is off the field, and Rudd. Needs five goals for 100 for Warrington. He now needs four goals to reach the magical century mark. 26-12, courtesy of the boot of 26-year-old Chris Rudd. Sumner. Well, he has a high work rate, Phil Sumner, and I know the Warrington officials will be delighted to see him back as Chamoran dabs the ball downfield, and Lee Penny is content to allow the ball to run touching goal. Well, at least they did get the kicking game there. You can see the captain, Pierre Chamoran, was stood well back 
but they're very slow Paris to get back into the defensive line yes Mark Forster had seen that and tried to exploit the gaps Bennett the dummy half Sumner Shamaran is there so too is Casala we see the little hooker now John Hoff He's controlling things out there now that Houston Harris is off the field. Oh, Beautiful that's a good pass. Ball. Lovely ball and well picked up by Shelford, who has Lee Penny in support. Bomart is after him. Shelford's continued the run. Over the top it goes to Knott. Out wide from Knott to Rudd. And that's a great try from Warrington. They move the ball around. They confused the Paris Saint-Germain defence. And in the end, they opened up on the left-hand side for Rudd. And put it all down, a quick thinking by Mark Forster. A quick tap on the 22. Quick play the ball and a superb pass. Kelly Shelford screaming through. Penny, the fullback, chimes in. Did well. Good support play. And once Shel Shelford threw out the long ball, well played by Ian Knott. And number 14, Chris Rudd, finishes off the try. Beautiful pass, though, from second rower Paul Cullen sent Shelford away good support but all the time that this movement was going the Paris defense was still on the backward step well finished great team try Chris Rudd with the try and Chris Rudd now with the conversion attempt 100% since he took over the responsibility from Harris this is far more difficult though And the degree of difficulty mirrored by the fact that the ball didn't reach the posts. 30 points to 12, though. Warrington stay in command. Chamarin gives it to Astre Cortine. Wrestled to the floor, trying to get to his feet under the challenge from Sculpthorpe. Didn't like it. Casala. <laughs> you could see there that uh, the two wingers, Pastre Cortina and Forster, eyeball to eyeball. It's been a real scrap, these two. Onto with a little dab through, but well picked up by Forster. The evergreen Mark Forster, 31 years old, two caps against the French in 1987, way, way back. But he's lost none of his enthusiasm. No, but it was a good tackle. Paul Sculthorpe going off, piggyback style. There is a French player on his way to the Simbin. It's Pierre Chamorin, the Paris Saint-Germain captain. Well, that's bad news for them. But why? Reefing the ball away. Now, it's one-on-one -on -one to start with. And he probably thought he was doing the right thing. Shelford fires the ball to Cullen. Cullen gives it to Knott, and Knott gets it down. They're all over the place, Paris Saint-Germain in defence, and Warrington are extracting revenge here. Down to 12 men, there are gaps appearing all over the place. One man race it away, Cavastani couldn't get anywhere near them, and soon as Cullen made the half break, second rower Ian Knott was gifted four points. See the big second rower come through. And once you miss the man like that, you've got to go in one line of defense. Cullen had breached it. It was a nice pass. See how they came out. You must move up in one unit. They failed to do that. And not adds another four. Ian not then with the try. He has played in all four games so far. He's only 19. And he can kick a fur ball as well. 36-12. Warrington now in total control. Kelly Shelford restarts and uh, Paul Sculpthorpe has gone off. There you see the difference. Warrington, they're moving up into one line. 
making it very difficult for Paris to get through. Torre, Adams watching the Warrington defence move up, took his eye off the ball. Yep, looked at the defenders coming towards him. Remember that only down to 12. Koe Love with a good run to the halfway line. Stopped by Yaha. And there's no one, of course, in the sweeper role at the moment. This is Maffi. Maffi breaks the defence. And has he got the legs to get there? He has. But he should have. Mati Aki Maffi. I just told you he's a former sprint champion. He's just checking briefly with the in-goal judges and the touch judge. No try. Did not ground it. Knock on. Well. Well, all that hard work. And he's right to. He did. He dropped it. Deary me. All that hard work. Well. Pierre Chamaran is out of the sin bin back on the field there he is number nine going into dummy half and first touch from him is a good one gets the pass away to Onta they're in each other's way again there here's Udwakamanu again taps the ball back to Onta it's all over the place he was offside Fabian De Vecchi standing in front of the man with the ball there did well though, did Forster. Offside, little they could do about it. They haven't got time to hang around. Bennett taking control of the situation, Andy Bennett. Hoff, Shelford, back inside, not, there's a huge gap. And Knott gets the four. Second try for Knott in this second half. Well worked move by Warrington. Ball out wide, it comes back. Look at the step here, Shelford. They knew that Knott was coming streaming down the middle. They worked hard for that one. That was a set piece. The switch back, what's for Shelford? He knows that Knott's going to be there. Steps off the foot. And the young second rower, he's having a fine game. He'll remember that one. Two tries before today for Ian Knott. He's doubled his tally. The young man of 19 years. And he's got 10 points personally because he kicked the last conversion and here he is again now eminently kickable again he's got a dozen 42 12 it will be a real confidence boost of this for Warrington and here's Vernial and that's a great run and they've got the try He's only been on the field five minutes, Eric, well, five seconds, Eric Vergniol. The one-time wonder boy of French Rugby League. He had six years in Rugby Union after that. And he's now back in the fold. And what a great try. What a start for him. Just simple links all the way across the line. And the substitute, Vergniol, really did throw the body. It was a nice little dummy there. There's nothing that they could do to stop him. Matiaki Maffi, not the best attempt at tackle, but notice how Verniolo just swing his body. Little dummy, that's it. It was enough. Nice try. Torre trying to add the extras. And does so too. Great kick. Well, that will give them a little bit more encouragement. 42-18. On the wrong side of the scoreline, Paris Saint-Germain. They've never really got into this game, the Paris side. But they've tried hard. But the way that the Waddington pack got stuck in early in this game, it didn't surprise me. It was tough out there. There's a bit of problem in the back. Touch yes. judges on. Hanari and Anta squabbling, pushing, shoving. It was handbags at six paces. 
And I think Hinari might be on his way to the sin bin here. Well, it's Onto who's on his way to the bin. Well, I'm not so sure that uh, we could do with Andy Bennett telling the little halfback Patrick Ontar that uh, he'd been talking to the referee. We can do without that. Bennett, the acting halfback, Foster, into the chest of Bloomfield. Finished off also by Jacques Pesch. Bennett to Hoff. Of course, Hoff not going into acting halfback now. He is a former halfback himself, but that's a lovely jinking run from Penny. A great run from Penny. No wonder he's smiling. Turned them one way, then the other. Jinked inside and outside. Came up with the four points. His second in Super League. Intelligent football by Warrington. Basics. Use the forwards, drive down the middle, and then the link. Chiming in from the back. The fullback Lee Penny. It was a nice step to finish it. That was all class. But they'd done all the hard work. The link was superb. Shelford has thrown out some great passes this afternoon. And what a nice little jink and step to finish it all off. Well, Ian Knott has kicked well since he's taken over the responsibility. Harris off the field. And Rudd deciding he maybe has had enough of the kicking duties for the time being. And that's three out of three for Ian Knott. 48 18. Warrington now within striking distance of the half century. Bloomfield oh, does nice well. pass. Gets the ball away to Pastrick Cortine. He's through one. And he's on his way to the hat trick. Well, he deserves that. Regis Pastrick Cortine. I think he took a bang as well as he broke through the tacklers. But a hat trick in defeat. Well, he can hold his head up high. Superb pass from the substitute, Bloomfield. Right on the blind side. He did well here. Look, two in attendance and good support play. Well, it's only seconds that the man that has been playing opposite, Mark Forster, left the field. He's taking full advantage of that. Regis Pastre Cortine. Well played. He deserves it. But give credit to the big forward. Good positioning. Like I said, Forster had just left the field. A good evasive run. Try in the last minute then for Regis Pastre Cortine. His captain, Pierre Chamarin, managed one last week in the victory over Workington. The extras, by the way, have been added. There's no time to restart the match. A good win for Warrington. The Pastre Cortine will remember his visit to the Northwest for quite some time. A hat trick for him. Matty Akimafi might well have had a try himself, only the fact that he dropped the ball over the line. Kelly Shelford, he prompted Warrington forward all afternoon, even when his partner in crime, Yestin Harris, went off. 48 points to 24, high scoring match. Toa Koe Love with two, Ian Knott with two. Hoff, Shelford, Rudden, Penny, the try scorers for Warrington, who had three different goal kickers. For Paris, Pastrick Cortine with the hat trick, and Verniol, the substitute in the second half, and Patrick Torre kicked four goals. 40